What's going on guys, my name's Theo Atrix, and today Jagex released the December edition of the Gillinor Gazette. The Gazette is a long blog post about what the old school team have been working on and new content that they plan to release. They show a diagram of the pathway that old school will take in 2021, including new quests, mini games, as well as a brand new runecrafting activity. Jagex has three key goals in mind for 2021. They want Old School to grow into the most played MMO in the world. They want to be industry leaders in player engagement and advocacy. And lastly, they want to level up their OSRS tech as well as improve their team and approach to the game. These are massive goals and Jagex knows it, but they're prepared to work hard and grow with these ideas in mind. Jagex is planning more seasonal game modes like Deadman Mode and The Leagues, as well as more events and quests. They're big on adding content for all segments of the game, whether it be PvM, PvP, skilling, bossing, or general gameplay. Jagex plans to increase their communication with the player base, with more surveys, polls, and more direct conversations with players. Jagex is going to improve their player support in 2021, which has been considerably lacking for the last few years, and they plan to improve the two-factor authentication system as well as internal tech and tools. To reach their goal of the biggest MMO, they realize that they need to target new platforms like Steam and be more welcoming to other regions around the world. That's the baseline stuff, but what content can we look forward to in 2021? I'm going to go through the roadmap and explain each update that's coming. The first one is the Christmas event, which is actually being released tomorrow and runs into the start of 2021. I'm not going to go into depth about it today because you can expect a bigger video about it from me soon. Starting the following week on the 15th of December, you'll be able to try Soul Wars in its beta stage. Soul Wars is going to be released around mid-January of 2021 and should be the first big update of the year. To play in the beta next week, you need to claim it on Prime Gaming. So you'll need an Amazon Prime subscription and you'll need to link it to your RuneScape account. RuneScape turns 20 years old on the 4th of January 2021, so around then we'll receive an anniversary in-game event that will hopefully bring back some nostalgia from the early days. Next is the Combat Achievement Diary, which I made a video about recently and it passed the in-game poll by a mile. So it will be coming out sometime in February. It incorporates a range of bossing and PVM challenges that even the best players out there may struggle to complete. Then we'll have the Fishing Skill Boss, which was polled a few months ago, and Jagex have been tweaking it to the player feedback before its release close to March. Early in 2021, Jagex is planning to fully release Old School on the Steam Store with a new C++ game client, which will better welcome new players to the game. Next, Jagex is planning to implement their clan chat system rework. They'll be upgrading the friends chats to have more ranks, more admin roles, and improve clan events. There will be notice boards, broadcast messages, more clan capacity, recruitment boards, and much more to look forward to. After the clan update, Jagex is planning to introduce Group Iron Man, which has been an update that many players are looking forward to. Jagex will need to finish the clan rework before Group Iron Man because a lot of the tools and mechanics of them overlap. There's two new quests on the roadmap as well. First is one called A Kingdom Divided, which we don't have much info about yet, but I'm assuming it has something to do with Zaya and the divided kingdoms of the region. The other quest is called Below Ice Mountain, which will be a free-to-play quest where players venture underneath Asgarnia into a cold dungeon. This isn't confirmed, but I'm guessing that it's going to introduce a new free-to-play ice boss, which they've talked about before. Later on in 2021, Jagex is planning a wilderness rework, revamping Bounty Hunter and redesigning the mechanics of the wilderness bosses. There's not a lot of information about this one, but I think it should be something that the PvP community can really look forward to. 
Jagex will also be introducing a range of minigame changes that I've spoken about in the past, and probably the most controversial one is a games room being added to the Grand Exchange to improve player interaction. They also plan to rework the Shades of Morton minigame, reworking the underground catacombs. Aside from content updates, there's a few other important changes that are long overdue. Jagex plans to resolve the ongoing login issues that players are having, like the error that comes up where it says too many login attempts. This happens when someone's trying to brute force entry into your account, and Jagex has a few ideas to stop this. They're also planning to largely increase account security, with changes to how authentication works, account recovery, safety, and more. Aside from those ideas on the roadmap, Jagex has been brainstorming a range of other potential ideas that could be introduced later in the year. The first one is Quest Speedrunning. This will take part on a separate game world, where you choose a quest to speedrun, then you're given a set of items, levels, and unlocks automatically. Then a timer starts to see how quickly you can do that quest or a quest line. You'll be able to reset your speedrun at any time if you mess it up, and be instantly ready to try again. Your personal best time will be shown alongside the global world record. And they haven't uncovered anything about the rewards from this, and I'm not really sure if there'll be any, but it's definitely something that will bring the speedrunning community together. The next one is a new runecrafting skilling activity called Guardian of Gillinor. You need to assist the Wizards of the Wizards Tower to fight off the abyssal creatures that are ruining a runecrafting project. You'll mine Guardian Essence and imbue it to power the Guardian of Gillinor while keeping the Guardian's balance level in check by using different runes. This time, Jagex has teased some of the potential rewards. There could be a Blood Talisman reward, which will allow you to access a Blood Altar in Mauritania for faster blood runecrafting. There will be the Colossal Essence Pouch, which will be able to hold up to 27 Essence at a time, but you won't be able to use it with other runecrafting pouches, so it instead sort of combines all of the pouches into one. There will be a new runecrafting outfit, where while you wear it, you get a additional runes. There'll be rune packs as a reward as well, which will make the activity a little bit of a money maker. Jagex has made it clear that this method won't provide any fast XP rates, and will keep the prestige and grind of runecrafting as it is. In 2021, Jagex is brainstorming the idea to add a Hunter's Guild to Zaya. Inside, you can talk to Irvin the Ranger, who will assign you with specific hunting missions, such as culling contracts for certain species to fix the balance within the RuneScape ecosystem. There could be relocation orders where you need to go catch certain hunter creatures and release them in a different area of RuneScape. There could be new elite hunter tasks where larger hunter creatures will spawn. There isn't a lot of info about the Hunter Guild, but it definitely sounds like some interesting content. The last idea that Jagex has been brainstorming is Faction Wars, which will be a joint PvP and PvM minigame where three teams fight for territory and resources. It involves defending your camp by recruiting and upgrading troops. Then you forge new equipment, as well as cook food for your team. Then some players on your team will focus on capturing, where you need to enter enemy territory and defeat their boss to take over the area. This whole minigame will bring together PvP and PvM into one high intensity activity, which Jagex believes will offer enjoyment for every player out there. So that's a summary of 2021 for Old School. There's so much to look forward to, with heaps of new quests, activities, minigames, areas, bosses, and personally, I'm mostly looking forward to Group Iron Man, which will be a game changer. If you want to get yourself a gaming mousepad, you should check out my merch store linked down in the description. I've brought back the smithing, ohm, and magic design, so if you missed out on those ones in the past, now is your chance. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.